Johnny's death. Before I start, I'm going to say some positive things. One, it was memorable. Two, it was brave. And three, the idea itself, it, it was interesting. Now I'm going to roast the fuck out of this thing. Like I just said, I think Johnny being unable to let go of Ashley and eventually becoming a meth head, I actually think that could have been a very cool story. My problem is with the execution, how it actually happened. Johnny comes in, gets cucked, shouts, I'm addicted to meth now, and then gets his head stomped in. It's like, it's like a fucking joke. It takes the piss. We all get high! We all get high! The crystal has got us, babe, but don't make it right. Don't make nothing right! I'm about to fuck me a meth head, ain't I, cowboy? From the second Johnny enters the scene to the time he's getting his head stomped in, it's 80 seconds. As you can tell by my videos, I have zero interest in writing, but even I know it's show, don't tell. Can you imagine a scene where we see Johnny and we initially assume that nothing is wrong? It's then revealed somehow that all his teeth are missing or that he takes off his jacket and now he's just skin and bones. And then we can see visually, oh, something's wrong here. Instead, he just announces, the crystal has got us, babe. Just to let us all know, oh, I am addicted to meth now. For any invisible third parties watching this encounter, I would like to, <laughs> fuck's sake. What would have been much better in my opinion is if there was a bunch of missions with these characters and we learn a bit about the background, how Johnny ended up in this situation, and then eventually shit kicks off and we kill him. It definitely feels like Rockstar had some grudge against the voice actor of Johnny or something like that. Trevor kills, literally, and by literally I don't mean literally, every single member of The Lost. The only one that survives is fucking Angus. And I'm surprised Trevor didn't wheel him into the ocean. For some reason, they just decided fuck everything to do with the lost and damned. Look how fucking slow uh, Terry and Clay go when you're trying to kill them as Trevor. They want you to kill those characters so fucking badly. I don't know why. It's so weird. When it comes to characters being in one game to another, Rockstar have this habit of just completely fucking changing how they look, how they sound, just about everything like that. I'm through with this bullshit. I don't want to be a damn drug dealer. It's for assholes. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> Look at Ashley. In GTA 4, she looked like this. In GTA Lost and Damn, she looked like this. And then in GTA 5, she looks like this. What's going on here? Who is this person? Johnny isn't so bad. His iconic nose has been changed and he just kind of looks a bit different, but you could say, ah, well, it's math or whatever. There's also a ton of shit that's just wrong with the characters. Johnny's hand tattoo that should be on his right hand switches to his left hand and then just disappears entirely when the cutscene is finished. His patch is wrong. His eye color is wrong. Ashley posts from beyond the grave if you kill her. The news report calls Ashley 37 when she's 32. And in some versions, Johnny will say, nah, fuck being dead and he just gets off again. Even the characters have had enough of this shit. It's like they intentionally just put as many bugs and as many issues into this mission just to piss off fans of the Lost and Damned. Rockstar, I don't know what we did, but we're sorry. Please, come on. Johnny wasn't some Arthur Morgan tier character. He's no John Marston, but people quite liked him and he had a good little story too. He might not have deserved a happy ending. He did some bad stuff, but he probably didn't deserve whatever the fuck that was. Let's do this! Angus, man. Chapter president. I'm president of a burnout house and some broken ass brothers. It's dead, man. It's over. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I'll probably keep sending money to Jim's old lady and her kid. I owe him that. We all do. Beyond that, I'll probably try to cut my ties. What about Ashley? Ashley? The ice got her good. I finally cut her loose in my head, man. I don't know what's left for her other than that need to fuck up everything around her. You've been a good friend, Angus. You're a good man, Johnny. Things should have worked out better for you. Well, things should be better for a whole heap of people. It don't work out that way, do it. Adios, amigo.